So building on that previous example, let's add the view saved button, which displays the details of the assessment that has been saved to the file assessments.data. Again, there are a number of steps we need to follow. We need to identify the file with the correct name, create a byte stream to use to, use to read the data from the file, create an object stream to enable reading of a whole object, read the object from the file, and close the stream. So now let's write the code for the view saved button. Back into our design view of our GUI, and let's just add a button. Right click, edit text, view, saved. Let's just change the font, 18 and bold. Okay, change the variable name. So we'll call this read button because it's going to read from the file. And when we double click that, we get our, our read BTN action performed, okay? And in here is where we're going to write the code to read that one object that we've written to the file, to read it back out and to print the details from that object. Again, we need an instance of file, which we'll call in file, but you can call whatever you want. We're going to use file input stream, F stream, and we're going to use object input stream O stream. So you'll see the classes that we're using here are exactly this, well, pretty much the same as the ones we used in the write method, except here we're doing input instead of output. So we fix imports and that imports the three classes that we need. And then we're on to our try. In file is a new instance of file. And in this case it's output.data. Remembering your quotes around the file name because it's just a string. F stream is a new instance of file input stream, which is your character stream, and that takes an instance of in file as a parameter. O stream is a new instance of object input stream. And that takes F stream as a parameter. When we pull the object out of the text file, we need to store it somewhere. So we're going to have to make an assessment object. We'll just call it assessment A. And then we say A equals, actually I'll call it X because we used A in the, now it won't make a difference, but we used A in the last example. So let's just go with X for now. So X equals O stream dot read object. Okay. Now you'll see here it's saying required assessment found object. That simply means it's reading an object. It doesn't know when it's coming from the text file, whether it's, or from the data file, whether it's an assessment object, a person object, a car object, it doesn't know. So we have to cast it as an assessment object. And that removes that error. Okay. Then all that's left to do is to get ourselves a J option pane dot show message dialog. And in here we do null name plus x dot get name plus type plus x dot get type. So we're just printing from the object as we would have in the display method plus waiting plus X dot get waiting. Okay, so we pull the details out and print them. And then O stream dot close to close our stream again. 
Now, again, you'll see our try is still giving us that warning. We haven't done our catch. IO exception E. And inside that then, system dot out dot print ln E. Again, you can put a, a message around that if you want. Um, I'm just going to print the error as it comes. Now again, unreported exception. So you'll see this new exception here now. Unreported exception, class not found exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. So what it's saying here is you're telling me when I read this object that it's of type assessment. So somewhere I should be able to access a class called assessment. If for some reason that class is not available, then what do I do? So we need also to have a catch class not found exception. I'm going to call this one x system dot out dot print ln ex. And so if for some reason that assessment class is not available, we can print the error to say so. So let's try and run this. Now the thing about this method is that ordinarily I would open up the GUI, I would enter in the data, display it and so forth. But the idea here is that because it's saved to a text file or a data file, I should be able to just click view saved and it displays the information for me. So there it is, OP exam type terminal assessment waiting 0.5. So it pulls it straight out of the object for me. And that is reading objects from a file.